The Troy family is hoping to move back into their home by the end of the year. That was unthinkable just a few weeks ago as their house was flooded by Hurricane Sandy. Parents Chris and Carrie Ann Troy wondered how they could care for their 11-year-old boy, Connor. He suffers from an incurable degenerative neuromuscular disease called mitochondrial myopathy. It's, it's a little bit more difficult for us to find, you know, safe haven for Connor uh, and his wheelchair and his special needs that he has. The $75,000 in repairs the home needed are being quickly done thanks to this man, Donald Denahan. It feels incredible. It feels, it, it's amazing that it's come this far this fast, uh, you know. I figured that we were going to have a long road. I mean, my, my biggest hope was that I was hoping maybe I was going to be able to be able to go to the beach for my own house this summer. But, I mean, that's, we're, we're way ahead of schedule for that. So much so that there's a chance they could be in their home by Christmas. A successful real estate investor, he decided after surviving his third near-death experience to use some of his earnings to help someone else. I mean, that's what life's about. It's not all about just, you know, taking your paycheck home. It's about helping others in time of need. He contacted a local church that put him in touch with the Troy family and knew at that point what he had to do. Well, the mission is, is, is simple. Let's get the family back in the house so that they can continue to move on with their life. And as you can see, the mission has become a reality. Crews are busy not just repairing the home, but making improvements, too. There's more space and additions are being put in to make it easier for Connor to get around. He's going to make this place our home again. And his work isn't done. He's also paying to repair the home of another neighbor who also suffered severe damage from Sandy. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.